I smell haters. Rust. Play rust. What the fuck was that? More rust, you can't give us more rust. rust. We want to see rust. <laughs> This is the face of someone who doesn't want to play Rust. G'day cunts, it's your boy Zuckles here. Today, once again, bringing you another video. So a lot of you lately have been wondering, Zuckles, why haven't you been uploading Rust? And all I can say to that is that Rust, in my opinion, has gone to shit. Like, I mean, it, it, it's fucking broken. Nah, but in all seriousness, guys, a lot of you have wanted to hear my opinion and thoughts on the XP system, as well as why I haven't been uploading videos on the game itself. So yeah, today I'm going to be explaining to all of you why I haven't been uploading Rust and why I haven't been playing the game. Just a quick disclaimer, all these points I make during the video are all my opinion and thoughts, and no one else's. Cheers. All you care about is making money, you don't care about a fucking soul though. You just fluctuate our dollars up and down at your Ah, yes, like the, the good old XP system, eh? Nothing's better than sitting down on a Friday, hitting trees, putting on as many fucking calories as I can, am I right? So, the XP system itself has been in development for quite some time now, and it's had a lot of hype built up to it. Now, I can admit I myself was pretty excited for this thing to come out because it was something different for me. I've been playing the game for like three years now, and this was a whole new change, you know, I was, I was actually pretty excited for for this. However, when the XP system did come out, I was very startled on how many aspects of the game were changed and taken away from me. For example, usually the two or three trees I hit a wipe ended up turning out to be 400 fucking trees per wipe. Now, obviously, if you are a fan of my Rust content, you'd know for a fact that I like killing people for all my resources, not having to harvest them myself. So why is this bad, you ask? Well, this meant that all the time that I had to spare was put into hitting trees and getting all these resources and nodes instead. Rather than being out and actually getting good footage of me killing people and having fun, you know, doing a bit of trolling here and there, a bit of griefing. But no, I'm just going to sit there and hit fucking trees for the whole wipe instead. That's fun, isn't it? Another thing that pisses me off about the XP system is the rate that you gather the XP. Man, I had to be level 11 just to get a ladder hatch on top of my base. In the long run, when you put all the XP and the levels together that you needed to make those juicy window bars or those juicy fucking embrasures, it ends up being an expensive bunch and not to mention, a waste of time. I understand survival games take a lot of patience and time, but when I'm stuck doing the same thing over and over again, the game becomes very repetitive and boring to me. From what I've heard, the developers are aiming for more towards a PvE sort of style game, but man, those clans aren't gonna stop fucking you over anytime soon, I can guarantee you that. What I think the developers should be focusing more on is the survival aspect of the game, such as different environments, biomes, natural disasters, you know, tornadoes, cyclones, anything like that. Anything that can kill you and affect you, other than a group of 20 people raiding your base. So long story short guys, the XP system is very boring and predictable, unlike the BP system. It also is very time consuming and also affects the way I produce content. <laughs> Alright, let's set this straight. I know the game's frequently updated and changed and there's also a lot added to it every now and then, but when I have 2,600 hours on the game. You can imagine how repetitive and boring it can get sometimes. Now, I'm not saying I hate the game, don't get me wrong. I love the game. I've played it for three years. I, I can't get enough of it. But I think it's finally coming to the point where I get on and I'm like, what the fuck do I do? It's the same shit every time, you know? Which then comes to the part where I want to branch out into new content. Now, every video I've been uploading lately, all I see is the comment section flooded with, oh yeah, where's Rust? Oh yeah, we want to see Rust, eh? Listen guys, I get that you want to see Rust, but I also want to be doing stuff that I want to do and I actually enjoy. So if you can't understand and come to the conclusion that I want to take a good old break and do some other stuff instead, then I'm sorry, this this isn't the place for you, man. You need to be going to a different channel or some shit. Also, thank you to the people who have been supportive of my new content lately. All the positive feedback and nice comments you guys have been sending me do not go unnoticed. So thank you so much once again, guys. Appreciate it. So pretty much to sum up this point, when you have 2,600 hours on a game, there's not really much left to do, which can lead to it being quite boring. <laughs> to be straightforward with you all, no, I'm not quitting Rust anytime soon, but however, I'm taking a considerable break. When you play a game for a certain amount of time, and also have people nagging for specific content that they want, it can apply a lot of stress to me. Now, you guys know I don't upload every day. However, when I do upload, I make sure that the video is up to the best of my ability, and try to make it the best for you guys. This stuff isn't rushed and can take a lot of time to make. 
so you're going to have to be patient with me. You can expect more Rust content in the future, but for now, I think it's just a no-go. Hey, and if that makes you want to unsubscribe, then man, do what you got to do because that ain't my choice, eh? I really didn't want to make this video, guys, but I was sort of forced into it due to all the comments demanding Rust and such. I hope I've pretty much cleared up everything that you guys wanted to know. I hope that you can come to an understanding of some sort on why I haven't been playing the game or uploading it. And I also hope you can accept that I want to make other content and branch out to different things. Once again, guys, thank you so much. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Nice.